Three receivers right. Tight end left side of the line standing up. Third down and nine of the 36 of Green Bay. Rodgers in the shotgun. Here's the snap. Rushes on. Rodgers nowhere to go, and he's snowed under. And Rodgers is down. The first thing is you want to get off the field. You, know, you want to walk off the field on your own. And um, So I was trying to get up there, and when I put a little weight on my leg, it was painful. And Rodgers unable to get up. Oh, my goodness. Here, he may have grabbed his left knee. Wow, a hush over Lambeau Field. When you have that kind of pain on a knee that's been operated on a couple times, you just want to make sure that it wasn't super serious. Aaron Rodgers headed inside for further evaluation. And the Packers' offense headed into a tailspin. Guys are under pressure immediately. Dumps it off right side. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Khalil Mack. Circle route to the five to the end zone. Touchdown. With the season opener fast slipping away, one man at Lambeau Field held an unshakable belief that the Packers would turn things around. Aaron, is there ever a point where you just felt like you were going to win this game? Walking out the second half. Here comes Rodgers. Who could have ever figured this about an hour ago? Now, this place begins to wake up. I realized I probably should jog to let Doc McKenzie know that I could do that. I hadn't done that yet back in the bowels of the stadium. And when I got the ovation at that point, I said, we might as well win this thing. When's the last time you saw a guy leave in a cart and come back into the game? You know, playing behind Brett Favre um, for three years, you realize um, you got to be tough to play this position. It's about coming back out and leading, and if you can deal with the pain, you should be out there. Look at him dragging that left leg back when he drops back, and when he tries to torque on that left knee, he is really protective of it. He can't even stand on this left leg, and he is making play after play after play. What goes through your head when you look at the scoreboard and see 20 to zero? Seven times three. We got to score three touchdowns. Snap to A-Rod looking around and waiting. Lost it deep down the right side. Allison in the end zone makes a spectacular catch. Touchdown! And the Packers get back into it. I was thinking about taking a shot to Devontae, but corner jumped outside. Protection was good, but I came back to it. It looked like Geronimo was in a good position if I put a ball in that area. He does a great job with his hands, chopping that arm off and then making a contested catch. You feel the tide turning, just holding on to your, you know what, and trying to make a couple plays. Rodgers, tight pocket, steps up, throws a left, got Devontae inside the 10, and fake comes left to the 5, reaches, pylon, and touchdown! Oh, what a ball game. Gunslinger, he's back. When it's 23-17, we get the ball back at 235, I'm thinking, you know, we're going to score. Rodgers in the gun. Four man rush, they throw, it's almost intercepted right through the bread basket of Kyle Fuller. That would have been it. That would have been it right there. We have a little saying, drop a pick, give up a touchdown. Thankfully dropped it. Feel pretty confident we're gonna win that game. 2.29 to go. Snap to A-Rod. Rushes on, has time. Looking, throws, middle, yes. got his there. for a pulsating 24-23 victory. To deal with injuries and play through them, 
That's the measure of a teammate. What are you willing to put on the line for your team? And to me, it's a no-brainer. Being the 100th season as the Green Bay Packers, when you play here, you know how special it is. The ovation from the crowd lifts you up. This will be one I'll definitely smile about in 10 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.